Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary and welcome to another one of my Throwback Thursdays um, where I introduce my past knives, knives before I started collecting. I basically started collecting again officially in March two, 2020. So these are all the knives I had before before March 2020 and most of them will, will be old so if I had a guess I think I purchased this knife back in say 2011 or 2012 I don't remember for sure but this is the I had to look it up and I finally found out this is uh, the Boker uh, Magnum by Boker is the bulldog so it took me a while um, I knew I knew what it was you know at least I knew the company but it took me maybe 10 minutes to find out what this knife was because it doesn't have a name so at least uh, I know the steel it's in 440 stainless steel and that's about all I know <laughs> besides the name so, I I really I don't know for sure when this came came out, but uh, I'm I'm thinking 2012 if I had a guess. And this is a beast of a knife. <laughs> I have a feeling this is like a sub company under Boker, like uh, like Civivi is with We. So, but I don't know much about this knife. I you know. From the looks of it, looks of it, I'd never carried it. <laughs> um, I probably carried it, but apparently I I never used it, unless uh, the finish is very durable, because I can't find any marks. I mean, maybe there a few, is a few marks. It's, it appears sharp too. Um, I'll do a cut test later on and um let me get a weight on this because um it's a terrible flipper because i have basically have to roll it out with my thumb i can't even get it to close it's probably gunked up and it looks like it's on nylon washers but i I've, I've, I've never taken it apart it's not terrible but for flipping out you can't flip it out but it's it's that bad so um, I've, I've tried it uh, before shooting the video and you can't even it looks like it's a front flipper or a top flipper or something I can't I can't I can't even it won't it, it just the actions shot so it definitely needs to be cleaned and I don't personally I don't think this knife is worth uh, cleaning at all so uh, I'm guessing it's a probably $20 $25 knife at the time maybe it still is I um, if I had a guess I don't think even Boker was making this knife again so for that big of a knife it's kind of strange that it has a tiny lanyard hole too check out these screws very interesting I'm thinking only these two screws hold the knife together plus the pivot anyway let's get a weight on it is anybody uh, if I had to take a guess at the weight oh will it's gotta be at least six ounces 6.35 ounces Let's uh, get a blade measurement. So the cutting edge just wraps all the way around. So um, probably three and a quarter cutting edge. The handle is about uh, just a hair over um, four and a half inches. So it's a 
quite a big knife. Uh, let's pull some knives out. To, uh, so this is the Gerber Fastball. Oh, sorry, buddy. This is the like some random F and Grow knife. Try some big knife to compare it to. So this is the Gerber Sumo. Let's uh, check the weight on the Gerber Sumo. That's 5.26 ounces. So, sorry buddy. So this is a this is going to be a short video because I don't I don't find this knife very I don't know inspirational <laughs> or uh, it's not uh, it's uh, got these thin thin liners on it you know consider it has a thick blade these liners are so thin let's see if it's centered. Yeah, it's just a hair off towards this side, but um, there's no blade play at all because, you know, it's a fucking thick blade. Anyway, I just thought I'd show another one of my knives from a time past when I, I I'm, I'm basically in my probably third phase of collecting this was the second phase of uh, collecting knives and then I started stopped collecting them for like uh, maybe at least at least 10 years so hope hope uh, everyone likes uh, me showing this uh, throwback Thursday previous knives I own so it's not <laughs> this week's not a wow moment but at least you see what kind of knives i was into basically i was into a lot of budget knives so i'm still in the budget knives but i spend way more than i used to i probably spent more more new more no more than 30 dollars so um um what does anybody own this knife? If has anybody carried this knife? Is it is this knife even recognizable to anyone out there? Take care, Wastelanders. Stay tuned for next week's TBT. Bye. All right, I promised you uh, some paper cut test. And I almost forgot. <laughs> so, okay, let's see if it's sharp after all these years. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, let's try some cardboard just in case. Maybe I'm not using the right paper. So. <laughs> nope. Yeah. It, I must have used it because it's it's not sharp and I Yep. Yeah, it's dull as shit. Oh well. 